What's up folks? Today I'm going to show you how to animate this effect. And it's actually really simple, so let's get started on it. Let me close this panel here and let's go to the basics. So, what you want to do, I already have this set up here, but let's just delete this. Whatever you're going to put over your picture, make it a smart object, which you could just double click and go to smart object on there. I'm going to assume you already know how to do that. And then you want to make a layer mask and you want to invert it by hitting command I. And now what we're going to do is just paint in white where we want the gold to be. So. Da 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 la 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 yeah so I'm just gonna delete this because I already have one here and then what we're gonna do is get rid of the link that's between it because we want to be able to move the actual picture without actually moving the layer mask so let's click that and then make sure the picture area is highlighted and you can see now because I had it all the way up here. But now when I bring it into frame, you can see it. And so with the animation, what we're gonna do is make it move from the top all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so let's open up our timeline. And here we have the layer gold glitter texture. And right here, we'll bring this all the way to the beginning. We'll hit the transform keyframe and make sure it's all the way at the top. Then we'll bring the slider over. Oh, somehow I already have this done. Let me just delete this whole thing. Okay, so. This is how it should look. We'll hit the keyframe and we have a little keyframe right here. We'll position the picture at the very top. We'll go over, let's go to 0.5 and bring it all the way down to the bottom. So now when we go back and forth, we hit play it's going to take a little bit time to render no matter how depending on how fast your computer is all it's doing is moving the picture behind the layer mask and it's pretty simple enough now if you wanted to make it longer than just one we'll hit this little button right here to make it into frames to frame animation And here we have 151 frames of every single movement. So this is what I do. If I wanted to make it longer or do it twice, I'll just select all the frames and then drag it to the new frame and it just doubles everything. So now I have 302. And you could just do that for however long that you want it to keep going. But I'm going, or an alternative to this is just, just uh, you know, make it once and then put it into a video editing software like Premiere or a movie and just dupl keep duplicating it. If you didn't want to do that, I'll just undo it. If you didn't want to do that, you could just do it in Photoshop. So let me just go back. And so here we have our animation. This is really simple stuff. Uh, I know a lot of my tutorials, I just assume people know stuff already, so I get to the meat and potatoes of it all. But pretty much just remember the basis of this all is to have a smart object because you could use a transform when it's a smart object. So take my word for it. Make sure it's a smart object first. And you want to uncheck the link because if you have it checked, you're going to move the mask and the picture. And you only want to move the picture. So uncheck the link, make sure that the mask is selected, and then you could drag it back and forth. And when you're done, you just go to File, Export, Render Video. You name it, 
choose a folder and I just usually stick with the format document size unless I'm going to do something differently for any other purpose. But right here I have it set to the dimensions of Instagram video, I mean Instagram portrait. So that when I export it in a document size, it'll be the perfect size for Instagram. And that's it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will get back to you and answer them. Thank you.